I was much happier at ABC. I had a, you know, a longer run, 14 years. CBS, I don't know. It, it was uh, a refuge for me at that time, and it was a good place to work, and it was a prestigious place to work, and I was paid well and treated as well as they treated any correspondents. Um, but it was also a time um, when my husband became ill in 84, and uh, he died of a brain tumor. And this was a very you know, difficult period. Um, I stayed at CBS three years after that. In a way, it was good that I was there because my life pattern remained pretty much the same. So getting through that period, being there, uh, was a good thing. And then, of course, Tish took over. Uh, there was a, a constant change of management. In the last few years at CBS, there was you know, a new news president every five minutes. And Tish came in and decided to cut back on everything. And there were these huge waves of firing, 60 people, then 90 people, then 300 people. And uh, at, there came a time when Howard Stringer, my old pal from the documentary unit, who is now president of uh, news, called me in when they were firing one person after another. And he said, we're not firing you. He said, we'd like you to move to radio. Oh, I forgot to mention, I did a lot of radio. I was very good doing radio news, right, broadcast, et cetera. So I thought, oh, radio? I don't really want to do radio newscasts from, from here on in. But I said, OK, let me look into it. And I went to the head of news radio, and I said, what shifts are available? And he said, oh, geez, he said, we'd love to have you here with us. He said, but on, right now, the only shift is the overnight. <laughs> I thought, oh, great, the overnight. Yeah, I'm, I'm almost 60 years old, and I'm going to do the overnight? No, I don't think so. So uh, I went back to Howard's second in command, and I said, I don't think I want to take your radio offer. So they made a nice deal with me, and uh, I left.